Hello and welcome back to another League Earn video where this time I'm talking about match day 27 games uh, that were played throughout the weekend uh, beginning with uh, Lille and Lyon game uh, that was on Friday <coughs> the only game on Friday uh, actually the first half ended up being nil nil and uh, maybe maybe it could be not that uh, great game goal scoring wise but then second half happened and uh, Jonathan David, who right now I believe he leads the league uh, with Kylian Mbappe, uh, 19 goals and he scored a hat-trick in this game. Uh, first, uh, well, uh, non-penalty uh, goal and then he scored, uh, uh, well, uh, he scored from penalty spot the second goal. Uh, but then uh, Bradley Bargola, uh, or how do you pronounce his name? Uh, he managed to uh, get one back for Lyon, uh, but then uh, Jonathan David scored the third from the penalty as well. Uh, but then uh, Lacazette came on as a substitute and he scored twice. And yeah, this is a big comeback for Lyon. I'm not sure about their chances of making into top four or European places this season. Uh, but yeah, uh, for Lille definitely they will uh, feel like they've lost two big points here. Uh, as they are probably more likely to get into top four place in uh, Ligue 1 than Lyon uh, based on how the seasons have gone so far but uh, yeah interesting game there and uh, featured six goals so uh, yeah that's pretty impressive by I guess by both teams and uh, not that great defensively uh, in the second half uh, then Oxer and Stadrené faced each other it ended up being nil nil game there uh, I thought that it was quite surprising because Oxer, uh, they have been playing quite well, uh, but yeah, I just thought that uh, then uh, Stad René, uh, they really didn't, well, they got some chances and had the possession and all that, but maybe Oxer even got the uh, best uh, chances, uh, at least that's my opinion, so yeah, uh, Oxer. Uh, maybe they could think this as a wasted opportunity to get, to get the three points against Stad René, who had possession, as I said, but yeah, Oxer had some good chances there, and maybe they could have won the game, but in the end they didn't, and yeah, uh, they are still quite close of uh, getting relegated. I believe they're 17th right now. Uh, Stad René rem remains 5th uh, in the league. Then uh, PSG, they faced uh, Stad Brest away from home. Uh, the game uh, was actually 2-1 for PSG away from home. So big win there, now 10 points clear of Marseille uh, with all the results, uh, how they went uh, in the match day 27 in Ligue 1. Uh, Carlos Soler, a Spanish player, uh, midfielder, started scoring uh, for PSG. A rebound goal there. Uh, but then uh, Honorat... Uh, uh, just as PSG would have thought, maybe they would get into, uh, well, have the lead uh, to go into halftime. Um, managed to make the game 1-1. One, one, and it actually looked pr pretty close that maybe Stad Brest, uh, they could uh, do something here and uh, make PSG lose points. But in the end, a uh, beautiful pass by Messi, uh, assist there, and uh, Mbappé, uh, he just uh, ran away from uh, Bissot. Uh, there, the breast goalkeeper, and uh, yeah, PSG, uh, they will happily take three points here, and as I said, they are now uh, with, well, Monaco losing to Stad Reims, and uh, Marcel draw uh, against Strasbourg, uh, I would say they are now pretty, uh, in pretty good position, uh, position to win the title, and yeah, I just can't see anyone else uh, challenging, Marcel had good run, but Recently, they've been a bit off, as have Monaco been, but I'll talk about those matches later in the video. But uh, yeah, big three points for PSG after they lost to Bayern in uh, UEFA Champions League midweek. Uh, well, last week uh, when I'm filming this. Uh, then, uh, lots of goals for one team, uh, Lens, who seem to get... Well, uh, they seem to be getting uh, better now, at least. Uh, because, well, they had rougher times, and, yeah, now they won 4-0 away from home against Clermont, who, well, uh, they have also had uh, some tough times, but uh, this was just a uh, Lois Openda uh, show in this match. Uh, 
yeah, the Belgian striker, three goals uh, in about was like four and a half minutes or five minutes. Uh, he scored three goals, hat trick, and uh, Claude Marie scored the last goal. Uh, but Obenda got uh, an assist for that as well. So, uh, yeah, impressive game for uh, Lance Stryker. And, yeah, uh, they will definitely uh, be happy about these points. And uh, they scored lots of goals in one match. Hasn't happened, uh, well, uh, that often lately that they have scored four or more. And, yeah, uh, Fofana had a chance to make the game maybe 5 uh, nil. So, yeah. Uh, Lens, they will be very happy with this result, and as I said, uh, uh, they jump up to third in the uh, league one because of all these results uh, that happened, uh, mainly Monaco losing. Uh, then uh, Nice, a bit surprisingly, uh, had a draw against Nantes, uh, two two. There, uh, Terem Moffi, uh, the Nigerian striker. Uh, continuing his great season, 15th goal of the Ligue 1 campaign, and yet third for uh, Nice because, well, he uh, transferred from, I believe, Lorient. Uh, then, uh, Musa Sissoko, only his second goal of the season, uh, he scored for Nantes to make the game 1 1 at half time. Uh, but then, uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce this name, but Andy Shimia uh, scored a goal uh, for. Uh, Nice to make the game 2-1 at the centre-back there uh, for Nice. Uh, but just as maybe uh, maybe Nice would have thought they would have got three points, uh, Mustafa Mohamed uh, scored to make the game 2-2 and uh, Nantes will be very happy with this result. I have no doubt about that. Uh, they had three game losing streak. At least they now got a point and yeah, um, their season has been mixed back. Uh, so far, uh, yeah, they are not that far away from the relegation uh, zone, but uh, there are some points still uh, to differ uh, them from the other teams who are getting relegated as of now. So, yeah, uh, points are definitely li- needed by Nantes, and uh, this game was uh, good for them uh, since they got at least one point. Uh, then, uh, to lose, they won 2 nothing against Angers. Uh, the goal scorers uh, were Dessler, uh, I believe was it, it may not have been first goal of the season, but he hasn't scored that many, well, he, at least. Uh, and yeah, Dalinga scored uh, as well to make the game 2 nothing. as I said, uh, a wave win for Toulouse. I believe they also, like Nantes, they had three games losing streak coming into this and uh, not great form. Uh, Angers... Now, I believe they've lost four games in a row. Uh, they really look like uh, they would get relegated to League 2. But, uh, yeah, let's see if they could do something. But if I'm not mistaken, there's 10-point difference between them. And uh, who was the... Trua, I believe, was the team who is 19 uh, so far. Uh, then, uh, Ajaxio, uh, yeah, uh, they faced uh, Montpellier. The only goal scorer was uh, Wahi, so yeah, 68 minute goal there. Important win for Montpellier, they're uh, doing quite well recently, and uh, yeah, uh, well, at least better than Ajaxio uh, or, or Asaxio. And yeah, uh, Montpellier, uh, they are moving up in the standings with these wins and uh, points. Uh, so yeah, uh, they were pretty close. Of, uh, the relegation zone earlier in the season now they are uh, well uh, they are further from those teams and that's important for them I don't think they would like to get relegated to league though uh, then uh, Lorient and uh, Trua faced each other 2-0 game there uh, Bamba Dieng managed to make the game 1-0 quite early 8 minute goal there uh, and then Diarra uh, so there were uh, quite many minutes between these goals and uh, Second minute of added time, uh, of after 90 minutes, he managed to make the game 2 0. And Lorient, like well, many of these teams, like Toulouse, for example, uh, they had struggled. So, yeah, this win is great for them. And for Troyes, well, they are not as bad as Angers this season, but 19th, not that great for them. Uh, but yeah, if they could get points, they would still have a chance of not getting relegated. But uh, it's not looking good for them right now. 
And then uh, Monaco, this was probably one of the more surprising results of this match day. Uh, well, uh, yeah, was surprising. They lose 1-0 against Stad Reims and not doing well lately. Uh, Stad Reims, on, on the other hand, will still, he's uh, really doing a great job uh, as their coach. And yeah, uh, as is uh, doing Balogun, who have, has scored, was it the 16th goal of the season or 15th? I'm not really sure. 15th or 16th goal of the season, but uh, yeah, he's really doing well this season. Uh, and yeah, especially under Will still as a coach. And yeah, Monaco, uh, they dropped the fourth. I'm not sure if they're getting into UEFA Champions League places. Uh, although, well, uh, Lens, they have struggled earlier this season, uh, not that long ago. And speaking of struggling teams, uh, Olympique de Marseille, uh, they faced Strasbourg. Uh, home game, uh, everything would point at... Uh, Marcel winning here, uh, Strasbourg quite low in the standings, but it ended up being 2-2 uh, because, well, uh, Chancel and Bemba uh, managed to game, make the game one nothing. all good here for Marcel, and then Alexis Sanchez, uh, actually I believe that goal was from penalty spot, but I forgot to write it, uh, but yeah, anyway, Alexis Sanchez, Chilean striker, managed to make the game 2-0, everything's good there, but then uh, all of a sudden, Ahulu uh, managed to make the uh, game 2-2, first 88-minute goal and then 89-minute goal, especially that uh, latter one of the goals, it was just a stunner, if you hadn't, haven't seen that, uh, I recommend watching it, it was beautiful long shot goal there, and uh, yeah, in the end, Strasbourg, they managed to uh, get a point out of this, and uh, well, they have struggled uh, quite badly this season, not as badly as Ange and Truand, uh, some others, but they are definitely not doing that well. So, yeah, this point is very important for them, I would think. And Marseille, uh, 10 points behind PSG. Is it over yet? Uh, the league title, uh, only 11 games left. Yeah, I would think it is. But, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts about this league on match day 27 games. Uh, is the title race over? And if you don't think it is, or think it is, uh, why? And let me know your thoughts about all these results. Uh, which game did you find the most entertaining? And yeah, uh, just thoughts about these games. And hit the like and subscribe for more league earn and football content. And have a nice day.